Hello, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We thank God for what the Lord is doing in COP USA and most especially with the PBS, a Bible college here in the United States. Praise the Lord, um, brothers and sisters. Um, as we celebrate PBS Day um, today, I want to thank God for your lives and thank God for giving us a school um, that is now housed at the National uh, Head Office in Wayne, New Jersey. I want to thank our National Head and his leadership for giving us this day to bring uh, PBS awareness to all of us. I'm joining you all the way from Canada, the Church of Pentecost, Canada, Inc. Uh, I'm excited to be here today on this particular day called Pentecost Biblical Seminary Day. As we mark PBS Day today, it is good for everybody to know that PBS does distant education. The best thing about studying at PBS is that it can be done from anywhere at any time. We offer our courses, almost all of them online, to meet the realities of people living in a busy world with busy schedules. Currently, we have about 334 students with some 39 uh, faculty. Uh, what we try to do here is we design custom courses and programs to meet the needs and realities of our students. Beloved, these are exciting times for us as we move to disciple the generation that will carry our church into the future. The young ones, youth and pensa, really heavy on the hearts of our fathers. This vision, Vision 2025 of the ministry, collaborates or enforces a collaboration between the Pentecost Biblical Seminary and the Youth Directorate. Our next year is going to be exciting because we're going to have programs for every ministry. We're going to tr be training all the leaders in the, every ministry. This is meant to help all our campus ministry leaders and students who are going to the campuses develop the skills and the tools to plant and lead effective and spiritually impactful campus ministries. We want to possess the campuses for Jesus. So that they will not come into ministry and feel that they don't know what to do. From enrollment all the way to graduation, so that they will have a good time at PBS. So they can comfortably learn and gain the knowledge and then impact the church. It's, it's an awesome place to study. So I want to encourage all of you uh, who want to defend Jesus, who want to speak about Jesus, who want to know more about the Word of God, who want to gain theological knowledge, to reach out to us, sign up for our classes. One of the best decisions this year was enrolling in a apologetics class in the Pentecost uh, College, um, organized by Youth and Pencil Leadership. Uh, these are courses being offered to you. All of our young ones, those in colleges, those who are in high school, we have courses lined up to help equip you with the uh, tools, apologetic tools, required for you to defend your faith in this spiritually hostile environment. As a student, honestly, I gain a lot of knowledge about apologetics, defending the Christian faith. And one important thing that I took with me was uh, defending the Christian faith. It's not about screaming, yelling, your voice out just to, to make your point or having any unnecessary argument. But it's about studying the Word of God carefully and defending it with evidence to make people understand the existence of God. There's no need to worry at all. Uh, we have support systems to help you if you have challenges. We do have track sessions, about three to four track sessions already lined up for you. And the courses have already started with the district youth and PENSA leaders across the nation. Sign up for our classes. Join us. Go to pbseminary.org. Uh, read more about our school. Uh, and then join us so that you can gain knowledge to help with the work of ministry. The number of ministers that we have trained at has gone through programs here uh, under the Ministerial Formation. Uh, beginning in 2016, so we had uh, cohorts from 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, up to 20 uh, and counting. Um, we've also graduated 
11 students uh, from Canada through the school uh, to the glory of God, ministers and lay leaders alike. So we have some of our ministers from Latin America and also from the Caribbean. Who are our students here? We have ministers' wives. Within the United States, we have ministers in Canada. Canada has been part of this great work. And I'm excited to let you know, uh, I was the first student from Canada to join the school in 2015. And God has done great things and amazing things with us and through us. Currently, we have close to 42 students who have been enrolled in various programs uh, as ministers and as lay leaders. So we are gradually spreading our wings. By the grace of God, their learning experience is awesome to train all our ministers and all our presiding elders and some deacons and deaconesses who have joined our program. We have exciting new tracks launching and we are also bringing on new programs and new faculty. So we welcome you to join us and become part of the PBS community. PBS and the entire staff in collaboration with the youth directorate, we are launching and releasing and making available for you. When you see the advert and the link for registration, don't hesitate. This is time to be equipped to possess the nations. The church in Canada is also supporting the school in diverse ways. Um, as I speak to you now, this year we inaugurated a virtual classroom in our Vancouver church. Um, so if you go to the Vancouver church, we have two classrooms that have been fitted with laptops, with interactive boards, where students can learn and interact with professors um, in, in diverse ways. So PBS has uh, really, really um, helped me. Uh, I believe that uh, when I, we came into the, into the ministry, the theological training that I will receive uh, from uh, PBS, um, being dedicated to the work and being disciplined, not only that, but even the biblical uh, knowledge that we received uh, from PBS really, really helped me when I went to uh, the field. If you listen to the administration and how they conduct themselves and, and, and their activities in the church, you realize that the school has had a great impact in their lives. Uh, Pastor Nyanzu took his time to break it down to our level for us to understand more about defending the Christian faith. He also honestly answered every confusing and unclear questions that we had. You go in there, you can do your sermons, submit your sermons, take a quiz, uh, ask questions, contribute to a discussion thread, and do so many other things in there. It's also connected to a, an online library where you can get more information. I came back as a student, uh, even currently taking uh, Spanish. And if you look at the foundation of uh, PBS, it is basically theological uh, and also practical. We mix the theology with the practical so that it will be able to help you uh, on uh, the field. Pray for us. Right now, we are working on our accreditation. When that happens, our master's program will come and we are creating a pathway for people to get in. For the Latin Americas, we have um, a team of interpreters who are going to interpret and translate our programs and our courses into both Spanish and Portuguese. When it has gone through, we will be one of the leading immigrant churches in the United States. PBS is among so many schools training church leaders and church members. All this knowledge and the experience that I have received now currently coming back uh, to become part of the faculty, um, currently teaching pastoral uh, care and counseling, uh, and also to give back to uh, the upcoming students. Best thing about studying at PBS is that it can be done from anywhere at any time. We offer our courses almost all of them online to meet the realities of people living in a busy world with busy schedules. So if you've ever thought about pursuing further training in theology, biblical studies, mission studies, or the whole host of related tracks that you can take, now is the time to do it. Looking forward, I believe that this school will be able to train all our workers and all our officers so that they'll be effective in their ministries. We have exciting new tracks launching, and we are also bringing on new programs and new faculty. The COP National Office have supported 
this worthy cost. Again, the church in Canada says their ministers are part of it. They are supporting. We want to give you this opportunity. Today is not a fundraising, but we want to encourage you that as a group of people, as a church, as leaders, if the Lord laid on your heart to give something in support of EBS finances, don't hesitate. We want to thank our national head and the executives for um, providing the financial support that the school needs right now. However, um, the little amount that you pay um, for school fees is highly subsidized because for each student that comes here um, and is being sponsored by the national office or the region, the national office pays almost about $3,000. But then um, we ask that you pay over $50 or 100 Let's keep Apostle Andy Donko who is now the president of the Publica Seminary uh, in prayer for the good work that the Lord has started with them. Even as Apostle Mbayani takes Carado region as a regional head. For the good work that they have done to, we say, may the Lord God Almighty bless them. We want to appeal to every member, every officer, every minister to become a master of the school in two ways. One, to uh, come and study in our school, which is an excellent school, and also a seminary, and um, to also support us financially um, in any way that the Lord touches your heart.